Before we dive into adding negative numbers, try using the number line to evaluate 5 minus 7, or click down here to review. Right, to evaluate 5 minus 7, you can start at 5 and then move 7 to the left, which leaves us at negative 2. Next, try evaluating these sums. What's 1 plus 4 and 1 plus 0? Nicely done. For 1 plus 4, you start at 1, and adding 4 means you move 4 to the right to get 5. In general, whenever you add a positive number, you move to the right. Adding 0, on the other hand, means you don't move in either direction. So 1 plus 0 equals 1. Adding a negative number means you move to the left. So to evaluate 1 plus negative 4, you move left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And so 1 plus negative 4 equals negative 3. So keeping in mind that adding a negative number means moving to the left, try evaluating these two sums. Exactly. 4 plus negative 3 equals 1, and 2 plus negative 8 equals negative 6. Now remember that when you add positive numbers, like 2 plus 5, and you switch the order of the numbers, you get the same answer either way. Does this still work when you add negative numbers? Let's find out. 4 plus negative 3 is 1. If we switch the order, what's negative 3 plus 4? Right, this also equals 1. So positive, negative, it doesn't matter. When you're adding numbers together, you can add them in any order. Next, take a look at this expression, 5 plus negative 9. Which of these expressions down here is equivalent to 5 plus negative 9? Which one puts you at the same place on the number line? Precisely, 5 plus negative 9 is the same thing as 5 minus positive 9. In general, adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting a positive. They both mean that you're moving left on the number line. So next, try adding two negatives together. What's negative 2 plus negative 3? Right, starting at negative 2 and then moving 3 to the left leaves you at negative 5. So negative 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 5. Next, try evaluating this expression. What's 7 plus negative 4 minus positive 2? Again, whenever you have multiple additions and subtractions, you should work your way from left to right. Excellent! First, 7 plus negative 4, which is the same as 7 minus 4, equals 3. And then 3 minus 2 equals 1. So nicely done. You've got some solid practice with adding negative numbers. So what about subtracting negative numbers? How would you evaluate something like 5 minus negative 4? Well, you'll find out in a later lesson. Before we get into subtracting negative numbers, let's start off with a number line and try using it to evaluate 2 plus 3 as well as 2 minus 3. Or click over here if you'd like to review. Right, so 2 plus 3 starts at 2. And when you add a positive number like 3, you move to the right on the number line. So 2 plus 3 equals 5 and subtracting a positive number means you move left on the number line. So 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. What about adding a negative number? So what's 2 plus negative 3? To review, click here instead. Right, so again, you're starting at 2, and adding a negative also means you're moving left on the number line. So 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 1. Adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting a positive. So what's 2 minus negative 3? Well, subtracting is the opposite of adding. Adding a positive means you're moving to the right. So subtracting a positive means you're moving to the left. 
and adding a negative means you're moving left. So subtracting a negative should be the opposite. It means you're moving to the right. So try using this fact to evaluate 2 minus negative 3. Precisely, so if 2 plus negative 3 means move 3 to the left, then 2 minus negative 3 means move 3 to the right. So 2 minus negative 3 equals 5. So what do you notice about subtracting negative numbers? If you have an expression like 1 minus negative 5, then which of these other expressions is equivalent? Right. 1 minus negative 5 is the same as 1 plus positive 5. In general, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. And one way to remember that is if you see two minus signs next to each other, you can think of them as together making a plus sign. So next, try evaluating these three expressions, each of which involves subtracting a negative. Excellent work! Here are the answers you found. So for your final challenge, try evaluating this expression. 2 minus negative 8 minus 1 plus negative 3. Again, whenever you have multiple additions and subtractions, you should work your way from left to right. Excellent! You started on the left with 2 minus negative 8. That's the same as 2 plus 8 or 10. Next. 10 minus 1 is 9. And finally, 9 plus negative 3 is the same as 9 minus 3, or 6. So again, nicely done. Here we'll introduce absolute value. To get started, let's draw in a number line, and let's mark off the integers from negative 6 up through positive 6. Take a look at this point over here. What number would you say this point represents? If you're not sure, click down here to review. Nicely done. Now the absolute value of a number is how far it is from zero on the number line. So for example, if you look at the number 4, then the absolute value of 4, which you can write as 4 with vertical bars on either side of it, represents the length of this distance here. How far is 4 from zero? It's 1, 2, 3, 4. So the absolute value of 4 is 4. What are the absolute values of 9 and 2.6? Don't worry, this is not a trick question. Right, the absolute value of 9 is 9, and the absolute value of 2.6 is 2.6. For any positive number, its absolute value is just that number. But what about numbers that are not positive? For example, what's the absolute value of zero? How far is zero from itself on the number line? Right, the absolute value of zero is just zero. Now here's where things get interesting. What's the absolute value of negative three? In other words, how far is negative 3 from 0? How long is this segment over here? Precisely. So the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, because this segment has length 3. So in general, the absolute value of a positive number is just that number. The absolute value of 0 is also just 0. And to find the absolute value of a negative number, drop the minus sign and make it positive. What absolute value really tells you is how big or small a number is without caring about whether it's positive or negative. Big positive numbers and big negative numbers both have big absolute values, while small numbers close to zero, regardless of whether they're positive or negative, have small absolute values. So to finish off this lesson, evaluate these expressions. To get started, go ahead and click on negative 2.5 on this number line, or click over here to review. Okay, now here's a number line from negative 4 to positive 8, and let's mark off the points at 3 and 5. If we wanted to measure the distance between these two points, we could count 1, 2. 
so the distance between 3 and 5 is 2. Let's try out two more numbers. What's the distance between 2 and 7? Right, the distance between 2 and 7 is 5. You could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but there's a faster way to calculate this distance. Which of these is an expression you can use to quickly find the distance between 2 and 7? Exactly, this distance is 7 minus 2. In general, to calculate the distance between two points, you can take the larger number and subtract the smaller number. So then try figuring out the distance between 6 and 19. Nicely done. To find the distance, you can take the larger number, 19, and subtract the smaller number, 6. So the distance between 6 and 19 is 13. Next, let's look at the numbers 5 and negative 3. What's the distance between these two numbers? How far do you have to travel to go from one number to the other? Exactly, this distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But our formula still works. We can take the larger number, which is 5, and subtract the smaller number, negative 3. Remember that subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So 5 minus negative 3 equals 8. So once again, taking the larger number and subtracting the smaller number will always give you the correct distance. Let's hold on to this example up here. So then what's the distance between negative 6 and 10? And to review subtracting negatives, click down here. Right, to calculate this distance, we can take the larger number, 10, and subtract the smaller number, negative 6. And that gives us the correct answer of 16. Next, try calculating the distance between two negative numbers, negative 4 and negative 12. Precisely, once again, you can take the larger number, negative 4, and subtract the smaller number, negative 12. Subtracting negative 12 is the same as adding positive 12, so this equals 8. Next, suppose you were asked to find the distance between negative 2 and 7. Well, you would take 7, subtract negative 2, and get the correct distance, 9. But what if you made a mistake and instead took the smaller number, negative 2, and subtracted the larger number, 7? Well, then you'd have negative 2 minus 7, which equals negative 9. So that's not the correct distance. You wouldn't say two cities are negative 20 miles apart. But this result is certainly related to the correct answer we just have a minus sign in front. So what would happen if we took the absolute value of these two expressions? Now evaluate them. Right, this expression equals 9, and down here, negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9, and taking the absolute value gets rid of the negative, so this also equals 9. So to find the distance between two numbers, you can always take the larger number and subtract the smaller number, or you can just take the absolute value of the difference. Then it doesn't matter if you have the larger number minus the smaller number, or the smaller number minus the larger number. Either way, you'll get the correct answer. So let's say you want to find the distance between the numbers 117 and 286. Which of these are correct expressions for the distance? Take a careful look more than one of these is correct. Excellent! Both of these are correct answers. 286 minus 117 is 169, the correct distance. And 117 minus 286 would give you negative 169, but because we're taking the absolute value, this expression also equals 169. Okay, for your final challenge, try finding the two numbers that are a distance 20 away from the number 5. Excellent work! If you start at 5, you can find one of the numbers by moving 20 to the right, so that's 5 plus 20, or 25, and the other answer is 20 to the left of 5. So that's 5 minus 20, or negative 15. 
nicely done. 